What's happening guys? Hope you're all doing well. I just got out of work and um, I got the weekend off again. I'm looking forward to that. Hoping to be able to go do some fishing here on Sunday. I got to get some brakes put on the car first. A buddy of mine's going to do that and then hopefully we can cast a few lines out into the water and catch some of them big old bad boy trouts or bass. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, actually had a co-worker was talking to me and he said, you know, what part of the Philippines do you go to? And I told him Manila, you know, Montalupa City. And uh, he's like, well, isn't that like the worst place to go? And I'm like, well, what do you mean by worst place to go? Well, isn't it like overpopulated? <clears throat> excuse me guys and I said well yeah there is there is, they it is overpopulated in the Philippines um, well isn't it really dirty there well a lot of parts of it is yeah because of the garbage well why don't you go somewhere else like you know why don't you go to like Cebu and places like that where it's it's nicer and I'm like how do you know so much about it he said, well, I was wa I walked, actually watched a documentary. It was about the Philippines, and they were saying about, you know, all the garbage in Manila, and, and well, well, okay, but what does that have to do with where I'm going, okay? Listen, I don't care where you go in the Philippines, north, south, east, or west in the Philippines, everybody is the same they all are nice they are very very uh nice people and yeah there is a problem with the garbage okay the government in my opinion uh, i've actually watched a few videos where the government was cracking down on cleaning the streets up that's great why hasn't it continued why hasn't the government continued with cleaning up the garbage in manila You know, you got to put things into place to where it gets people's attention. In other words, if anybody's caught throwing garbage down, there is fines or possible jail time, okay, that you will face. Here in the U.S., I can only speak for my state, here in Pennsylvania, if you get caught throwing, throwing any kind of garbage out your window, okay, there's like a, a I think it's a like maximum fine of like, $250 fine just for throwing a piece of paper out their window. Okay? But why doesn't the government hire people? Why don't they put together an organization to go out and clean the waterways and, and get the garbage out of the water? I mean, you know, it is it is bad in certain areas. It's really bad. You know, the times that I'm there and you're walking up and down sidewalks in Manila and yeah there's garbage laying everywhere it doesn't have to be that way but the people see the people have to be the ones to change that as well they can't just be throwing their garbage anywhere okay that's polluting that's polluting the city and polluting the air and I personally believe that you know if you were to put an organization together and it's government run they'd be able to clean a lot of the garbage up and, and it would clean the waterways. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really one of those things where, you know, I'll be watching a video and I see young kids jumping in and out of the water. And listen, don't, don't get me wrong on this. It, it's all they got. You see, it's all that they got. So you work with what you have. And um, I, just, I just think the government should be doing more to clean up the the streets clean up all the garbage clean the waterways guys i gotta be honest with you man if i had the money i would go over there and i would actually start my own business and i would hire people to go out and clean the garbage up let's get it out of there have an appropriate place appropriate areas for people to dump their garbage so it can be picked up here we have we have garbage dumpsters 
garbage dumpsters. It's not a, it's not a uh, difficult thing. Everybody throws their garbage in a dumpster, and then there's a truck that comes along and dumps it and gets rid of it. It's not like that over there, see? It's not like that. It's not really controlled. And that's why so many people are just dumping their garbage wherever they... I mean, people are walking over garbage to get to their home. It doesn't have to be this way. Clean up the waterways, okay? Okay, clean up. Excuse me, I got a message here. I have to get this... Uh, So, I don't know, guys. Listen, when I'm in the Philippines, okay, when I'm in the Philippines, yeah, it's, it's very noticeable. But I don't, you know, listen, I don't, uh, I don't downgrade the people there because there's garbage laying in the street or there's garbage piled up somewhere. It's beyond their control. Honestly, it is beyond their control. What what can they possibly do? Okay. Now you're gonna have people that's gonna argue with what I'm saying and oh well there's there's a lot that can be done. Well, you you have people, yeah, that maybe they're disposing their garbage where it should be. But you got a lot of people that don't because you have a government, in my opinion, doesn't really care. Okay, I, I honestly think the government should be doing more for the people there. They have, and I believe the money is there to help, to help your own people. You, you, I don't know. It's it's really hard, man. It, it's hard to, I, I don't know. The United States is not what everybody thinks that it is. The United States, yeah, is land of the free. Okay? You have more opportunities here, yeah. But there's a lot of a lot of things that are state run or federally run, okay? And we have laws in place here that you cannot just dump your garbage wherever you want to. It has to be dumped appropriately because there are diseases and there are, you know, you don't know what somebody threw out in that bag. You don't know what's in that bag. And I see people digging through garbage in the Philippines. Uh, I got to be honest with you, when my wife and I, I remember we were, we were coming back home from, from the mall and there was one section where there was a huge pile of garbage and I seen people digging through this garbage. Literally just digging through this garbage. And it made me so sad to see that. I was so sad to see that, okay? Because here, here you don't see that sort of thing. And people are just doing what they can to survive over there and that, that's I fully understand that but you don't know what is in that pile of garbage okay there could have been a needle that was used for drugs or or and you just poked your finger or somebody has a disease and you just poked yourself with that needle it's bad that is a bad bad thing what is the answer guys what is the answer to that well, in my honest opinion, I think the answer is the government. The government are the ones that have the power to make the change. And without the government, it'll never change. Okay, it will never change. It has to be the government to put laws into place. Okay, look what happened when the president of the Philippines went after all these drug lords. It woke a lot of people up. Okay, and it scared a lot of people. You can do the same with garbage. Okay, you can do the exact same thing. Let's get it all cleaned up. 
let's get out there and let's start picking up the garbage, okay? Everybody needs to work together. The waterways would be so much cleaner. In time, you would start noticing such a major improvement in the waterways. It would start to clear up. You have beautiful, beautiful islands over there. You got beautiful, man, I'm not cutting anybody down in the Philippines at all. It's just that this video is really about the government. The government needs to put things into place to help the people. You should not have to walk up and down your streets and there's piles of garbage sitting everywhere or, or you want to go for a boat ride somewhere and there's garbage floating next to you or go to your local beach and there's garbage laying on the beach. It just should not be. Now, I did see another video. I think it was in Dubai or somewhere, somewhere over there where people don't even have bathrooms. And these people are walking up to the beach, onto the beach in the sand, y'all. They're, 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 they're doing a squat and they're dropping a bomb right there on the beach. And then they're walking away. So everybody's turds are laying all over the beach. I mean, are you kidding me? What is going on with that? That is so, oh my goodness. When I saw that, I was like, this isn't real. This cannot be real. But it was an actual documentary where it is very real. People go to the beach and they drop their freaking pants and they squat and drop a freaking bomb right in the sand and then they walk away. It should not be this way. What is wrong with the government of these countries, man? It shouldn't be that way. It's like, I don't even know, man. It's almost like, like treating your own people like, like they're animals. You know, if you got to poop, go out and poop in the sand. I mean, what is that? that that's, that's like telling the dog to go out and go to the, use the bathroom in, in the yard. That's what it is. I don't know. I was just a little bit, like, disturbed when I was watching that. I couldn't believe that this is how the people actually use bathrooms. The bathroom's over there. It's to my understanding. Now, I don't know what part this was, but it's obviously not in the rich part of Dubai. But <laughs> it was either that or India, somewhere around there. I don't even know. But who wants to go to the beach, okay, and have to be dodging freaking bullets, you know, in the sand. Like, I just stepped on somebody's poo. Seriously. The bathrooms, to my understanding, are pretty disgusting. And there's just lines of people to use the bathroom. So, you got to go. You got to go, right? So, just drop your drawers a squat and drop a freaking big old deuce right there in the sand. I mean, there's something wrong with that picture, man. I know me personally, I'd be a little bit jacked up if I went out went to the beach and I stepped in somebody's crap. Right? Yeah, that, that's not normal. Those things are not normal and it should not be happening. But anyhow, back to the Philippine thing. I personally, guys, my opinion only, I, I just think the government can and should be doing more to clean up their country. There are a lot of parts of the Philippines that are absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I mean, postcard beautiful, okay? But I think of, I think a lot of it may be because of the overpopulated, uh, the overpopulation in Manila. There's so many people, it's to my understanding, it became so over, overpopulated because people were leaving uh, leaving their homes to move to Manila for work, thinking that they were going to find work or have a better uh, chance at finding work. And that wasn't always the case. Not always the case. They cannot find work. Um, so now there's an overpopulated city. You know, how do you fix that? Well, I don't know how you fix that, but I know you can sure as heck start fixing, you know, 
the problem with garbage. Get it cleaned up. It Listen, man. It would not cost a whole lot of money to put some people together to get out there and start digging up the garbage. Okay, pay them. Pay them to do it. And if I had a if I had the money guys and I had I would start a business over there where I would want to try to clean this garbage up. Try to clean up the streets, try to clean up the waterways. But once again, it, it all comes down on to the people. The people have to be the ones also not to just throw their garbage wherever they stand. Can't do it. That's where the government comes in. Put something in place. You get caught throwing garbage down, you're going to pay for it. Okay? You get caught selling drugs, you're going to pay for it. It works the same way. The government has to put things in. And it, it's disturbing to me, man. It's just disturbing that you have government that sees that. They see how it is, but they don't do anything about it. What is up with that? It's like that here, too. It's like that here. The government's behind a lot of stuff, okay? They see it, but they, do, do, they don't do anything about it. I'm fired up, guys. I'm just fired up. It's Friday, Friday. Friday, fire up. It's fire up Fridays. Maybe I should start having a Friday fire up. I couldn't actually get that out. Had a hard time with that, but you know, hey, you know, I have a hard time with some things. You know, I freeze up. I'll be like talking about something, and I just totally forget about what I was talking about, or or what I want to say next, or a sneeze, or you got weed whackers in the background. You know, there's always something. But anyhow, guys. That's my take on it, man. I don't know. I, I just think, uh, honestly, and, and you guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will agree with me that the government needs to do a lot more. I think it's a shame. It's a shame that the people are trying so hard over there. They're trying, they're working, working their fingers to the bone, trying to make a living and feed their families, okay? They work a hard day. There's some people working 16 hours a day, making two dollars a day, and then they to get back home they gotta walk through garbage. Come on, man. I don't know. What what is the answer? What is the answer to all that? I'd like to know. I really, really would like to know what is the answer to fix the problem. You just don't, you don't have, you know, your government just don't seem to care. They don't care. As, as long as it doesn't affect them, and that's how, how I look at it here too. As long as it does not affect their life, they don't care. They don't care. But at least here, they already and have had for many, many, many years, or I shouldn't say years. It's just has always been that way. Now you do go into places, don't get me wrong. You can go into places like in the big city areas like New York City. The last time I was in New York City, there's freaking garbage blowing around on the streets. It's just one of those things where it's the people. The people are putting the garbage there. People are walking down the street and instead of finding a garbage can, they're just taking their cup and throwing it on the, on the ground. I don't know. It has to start also with the people. To say, enough is enough. We can't be doing this. We can't, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want this every day. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, that's my take on a lot of it. Um, I guess it's garbage Friday for me. I don't know garbage Fridays I'll talk to you guys again real soon and uh, you guys have a great weekend and once again Salamat which is thank you to all of my new subscribers and uh, I'll be talking to you guys again real soon bye bye